Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Training here. Today is Friday, April 26th. I'll be going on my recap for today. Um, so today I had a uneventful morning. Uh, I tried to use my stop trigger order and uh, for some strange reason when the trigger uh, happened, uh, the order just disappeared and I didn't get any uh, fills at all. So, and I think that might have affected my uh, state of mind. I was a little frustrated on RHE and might have uh, traded a bit uh, more FOMO uh, since I wasn't exactly getting into the uh, right trigger position. Um, so first thing, okay, so RHE during pre-market here, uh, I saw this flag here at 267, so I had a uh, I had a trigger order. Uh, let me pull my uh, show orders in the morning. So I had a trigger order right here at two. Pretty much it's two sixty eight, just a penny above this, with a limit order two seventy one. And once it triggered, uh, oh, I guess I guess for some strange reason is using CP go route and. Uh, it wasn't executing. It just disappeared. Uh, I think it auto canceled or something. But uh, I I went to get long here and then pretty much just sold on the pops uh, all the way up here. Um, and then I had another triggered uh, again at uh, two forty one, which was right here. Uh, I saw this uh, cup and handle. Uh, and then I wanted to trigger there at two two eighty. Um, since 281 was the last uh, dip here and it uh, Same result. I didn't trigger So I got a little frustrated and I missed a huge move here on the downside so I saw this 270 here and I uh, Since my trigger order wasn't working um, I went ahead and went a little early so you see it didn't break 270 here so I, I went in a little early and It stopped me out so that took me for like a seventy dollar loss, and then uh, I took it again long, uh, and then sold half of the spike and stop out the rest. So that was in total, yeah, seventy four dollar on the long side here, um, and then on the short side, I manually filled here. Um, so I broke down this uh, support. Uh, I took a short there and covered here. Um, took another short on the bounce and then covered again and then just stopped out here. Um, so I contact my broker and what they told me is um, th they said it might have been the routes. So I asked them if there is a way to make a, uh, a better change your stop route. So what you can do is, if you use the stop limit order, there's this preference tab here. They say you could enter whatever you want. So if you, if you really like to trade ARC, so you can put ARC SM on here, and it would uh, it would uh, use that preferred route. So I tried that on uh, my other short here. I had another short here, so it actually triggered. Um, Wait, what time was this? So this was like 11.25. Let me go over 11.25. So our, here you can see it triggered at 2.30. Um, but for this one, it it had, it had used the arc uh, as it preferred. Uh, but I just didn't get filled here. So, um, so that's something I learned um, to use. So you can use stop order and use a prefer route. Uh, and instead of using your CP go or your default route, uh, which uh, sometimes doesn't work or is, it doesn't get filled. Uh, but that uh, kind of frustrated me because I could have made some profit uh, if my trigger orders would have worked. Um, and then, okay, yeah. So that was on this long side. 
Seventy-four dollar loss, and then this the short side uh, for four three dollar winner. And then RPZ, I uh, think I did a quick short here. Um, so I did a quick short here. Uh, I thought this little spike was uh, fell, so then I was gonna short below that. It had a quick move down, but it went back up, so I just stopped out when it broke above these highs, right there. Now I ended up uh, going down to fill the gap below um, at 6.92, so pretty much filled the gap. Um, and then HEL, so HEL uh, made a few mistakes here, which I suggest avoid doing, uh, and then hopefully um, people will learn from this. So because I I met. I didn't get my fields here. I kind of did like a FOMO went in a little early before the break. So you can see there's a 136 level here and then 136, 136. And then right here, it hit tap 136. So I shorted 136, but it never broke. Uh, and then you can see it had this cup and handle. Uh, and then I, I was hoping for this crack of uh, 136 and VWAP. Um, but again, it didn't go as planned, so so most of most of the time or the past few days when this didn't happen, I usually stop out right there when it breaks above this trend line. Uh, but uh, for some strange reason, uh, I was frustrated. I added more here, and when I added here, pretty much I told myself I would stop out here. Um, so this this. This short here itself was only a $30 risk because um, I went only like 20 shares. Uh, but when I added here, I went 30 more shares, uh, which was like $50. And this was, uh, and then I told myself my max stop was uh, 140 break. So yeah, it, it eventually broke 140 here and it stopped me out. And that was a $205 loss. So the lesson learned here is if your plan doesn't uh, work out, the way you want do not add to that because once you add now you don't know what's your plan right and then pretty much you're just gonna try to stop out high of day or something really stupid so uh, lesson learned uh, don't add to a losing position or a broken plan so I think it was okay if I were to add for the 136 break uh, if it falls down uh, after this pop-up and then break. So that's uh, all my recap for today. So down native 276, but hopefully tomorrow, I mean next week will be uh, a better week. Um, there was really slow in the market today and there wasn't any uh, small caps uh, going on. So um, except for RHE, uh, which I miss a few good opportunities. Um, so yeah, as always, um, I would like to thank you everyone for watching and don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.